AIA 101 and AIA 201 flashcards. What's the standard form of agreement between the owner and contractor where the basis of the payment is a stipulated sum? A101 is the standard form of agreement between owner and contractor where basis of payment is a stipulated sum. What are the main sections of the AIA A101 contract? The main sections of the AIA A101 contract include work of the contract, date of commencement and substantial completion, contract sum, payments, dispute resolution, termination or suspension, and miscellaneous provisions. What are two important dates expressed in the AIA A101 contract? Two important dates expressed in the A101 contract. Number one, date of commencement of work. Number two, date of substantial completion. Again, date of commencement of work and date of substantial completion. If the contractor fails to achieve substantial completion date, what's the term for the contractor paying the owner for the time exceeding the contract? It's called liquidated damages. Under the contract sum subheading, what is an alternate? Under the contract sum subheading, an alternate is a proposed possible change in contract documents. It provides the owner an option to select different material systems and add or delete portions of work. Under the contract sum subheading, what is an allowance? Under the contract sum subheading, what is an allowance? A cash allowance is an amount established in the contract documents and included in the contract sum. It covers cost of items prescribed, but not in detail. Any change in the final amount reflected is captured in a change order. What is the period covered by each application for payment? One month. What's included in progress payments? Progress payments include the sum for completed work, materials and equipment delivered and stored at the site or off-site if allowed by the owner, and portions of construction change directives that the architect determines to be reasonably justified. If the owner and contractor do not select dispute resolution method, what's the default per the contract? Litigation, which is binding dispute resolution. How many days notice must the contractor or owner give if they change their representative? They must give 10 day notice. What contract documents are part of the A101 agreement? The A101 includes the A201 or the general conditions of the contract and the E203, BIM and data exhibit and any other agreement listed in the contract. What are the only parties that sign the A101? The owner and the contractor. What is the A201 contract? The general conditions of the contract for construction. What are the sections in the A201? The A201 is made up of General Provisions, Owner, Contractor, Architect, Subcontractor, Construction by Owner or Separate Subcontractor, Changes in Work, Time, Payments and Completion, Protection of Persons and Property, Insurance and Bonds, Uncovering or Correction of Work, Termination, and Claims and Disputes. What do the contract documents of the A101 and A201 consist of? They consist of the agreement, conditions of the contract, including the general and supplementary conditions, 
drawings, specifications, addenda issued prior to execution of the contract, modifications issued after execution of work. These are all contract documents. What types of modifications are allowed in the A201? A written amendment signed by both parties, a change order, a construction change directive, a minor change in work, or an architect's supplemental instructions that's written by the architect. What's included in the term, the work? The work includes construction services required by contract documents. It includes labor, materials and equipment, and services. If the contractor requests information from the owner for the contractor to either enforce or give notice of mechanics lien rights, how many days does the owner have to furnish that information? The owner must provide the information requested within 15 days. Prior to commencement of work, what is the owner's responsibility? Prior to commencement of work, the owner shall furnish evidence that they have the financial arrangements to fulfill the owner's obligations. Following commencement of work, the owner must respond to a request of furnishing their financial arrangements under what three conditions within 14 days of the contractor's request. Number one, if the owner fails to make a payment. Number two, the contractor expresses concern regarding owner's ability to make payments. And number three, a change in work changes the contract sum. What does the owner's financial responsibility include? The owner's financial responsibility includes paying for necessary approvals, easements, assessments for construction, use, or occupancy, and providing surveys. When does the owner have the right to stop work? If the contractor fails to correct the work. How many days does the owner have to correct work? If after the contractor receives notice from the owner to correct work and the contractor fails to do so, with a 10-day period, the owner can pursue correction through other means and deduct from the contractor's payment. Before starting each portion of work, what's the contractor's responsibility? To study and compare contract documents, take field measurements, observe site conditions for the purpose of facilitating coordination and construction. What is the contractor responsible for paying during the work? Labor, materials, equipment, tools, water, heat, utilities, and transportation, sales, consumer, and similar taxes, building permit, fees, licenses, inspections by government agencies. What kind of warranty is the contractor responsible for? The contractor is responsible that materials and equipment be in good quality and that they are all new. That work will conform to contract documents and are free from defects. The contractor also issues warranties in the name of the owner upon substantial completion. What's the contractor's responsibility if concealed conditions reveal different conditions from contract documents? They must notify the architect and owner within 14 days of first observance. The architect must investigate and recommend equitable adjustment to contract time or sum. If the contractor encounters human remains, what should they do? Suspend operations on site. Notify the owner and architect. The owner must take necessary action to obtain government authorization to resume. The contractor, if allowed, can continue on other portions of the site unaffected. After award of the contract, within how many days 
must the contractor notify the owner or architect of the superintendent. The owner and architect have 14 days to approve or object. Upon contract award, what items does the contractor need to provide? A project schedule, submittal schedule, and schedule of values. What items provided by the contractor is not part of the contract documents? Shop drawings, product data, samples, and similar submittals. What's the architect's responsibility if they receive a submittal that was not requested? It must be returned without action. What's the architect's role in terms of administration of the contract? The architect is the owner's representative until the final certificate of payment is issued. What's the architect's responsibility to the owner during construction administration? To report deviations from the contract, deviations from the schedule, and defects and deficiencies in the work. What's the architect's role for applications for payment and certificates for payment? To evaluate the application for payment, to review and certify the amounts, and to issue certificates for payment. What's the architect's authority for rejecting work? Requires inspection or testing of work. The architect can require inspection or additional testing of the work. What's the architect's role for concealed conditions? The architect must investigate, determine, and recommend regarding concealed or unknown conditions. What's the architect's role for key dates in the contract? They must inspect and determine the dates of substantial completion, final completion, issue the certificate of substantial completion, issue a final certificate for payment, and forward warranties to the owner. What decision by the architect is final? Matters of aesthetics. When are subcontractors approved? The owner and architect have 14 days after being notified by the contractor soon after award of the contract, whether they approve or reject subcontractors. Who agrees and signs a change order? The contractor, owner, and architect. Who agrees and signs a construction change directive? The owner and architect. The contractor may or may not agree. Who signs a minor change of work? The architect. What happens if the contractor signs the construction change directive? It means they agree with change of contract summer time. It's recorded as a change order. The change orders can be issued for all or any part of a construction change directive. What's the contract time? It's the time up to substantial completion. What does a day refer to? A day refers to a calendar day unless specified otherwise. What's the process for submitting an application for payment? 10 days before date of payment, the contractor submits an application for payment. This must include copies of requisitions, releases and waivers of liens. What's the process for issuing a certificate for payment? Within seven days of receiving the application for payment, it is issued to the owner a certificate for payment in the full amount, partial or none. Within seven days of receiving the application for payment, the owner receives a certificate for payment and issues in full amount, partial or none, the amount due to the contractor within seven days. If the contractor fails to pay their subcontractors, what can the owner do? Issue joint checks to the contractor and subcontractors. 
the contractor has how many days to pay their subcontractors? Seven days. How is substantial completion defined? Substantial completion is when the owner can occupy or utilize the work for its intended use. What does the contractor submit at substantial completion? A list of items to be completed prior to final payment, also known as the punch list. What happens at substantial completion? The architect prepares the certificate of substantial completion. This establishes the responsibilities of the owner and contractor for security, maintenance, heat, utilities, and insurance. Warranties commence on the date of substantial completion. The certificate is submitted to the owner and contractor for signature with consent of surety. When does the architect issue final payment? When they receive from the contractor the following, affidavit of no outstanding debts, certificate of insurance to remain in force after final payment, a statement that insurance is renewable to cover the contract documents period, consent of surety, documentation of warranties, and evidence of satisfaction of all obligations. In an emergency affecting safety or property, who is responsible? The contractor. Who needs to be additionally insured on the contractor's insurance? Owner, architect, and architect's consultants. Who is responsible for having property insurance? The owner. When can the contractor terminate the contract? If work has stopped for 30 consecutive days.